Good morning. What a mess that we're talking about. You hear those buzz saws in the background here. This is Pasadena and this is a hard road closure because of this large eucalyptus tree that went down. And I'm talking to homeowner Julie Schneiderman. Uh, Julie, you're looking at this. The crews are out here trying to cut this up and remove it here from Nilsdale and San Rafael Avenue as soon as possible. First of all, good morning. Good morning. So tell me, what did you hear? What did you see? Um, at 12.10, we thought there was an earthquake, so our family jumped up and our dog was barking and uh, and we couldn't see anything because it was dark um, and it actually knocked down our electric, uh, our light, our street light. So. This is very scary. You told me earlier that your kids live in the house here on the corner. Uh, let's pan on over there, but they sleep in the front rooms? Yes, they. Have, that's their bedroom right there. And then you've also complained to the city about this. Yes, on 1210, I emailed the city. A neighbor informed us that the tree looked like it was leaning a little bit, so I emailed the city, and the compliance inspector, inspector came out about two weeks ago um, to determine if it was city property, if we needed an arborist, and he hasn't gotten back to me, but I suppose he will now. And Julie, you haven't been able to sleep. Your family is out here. I see the lights out on your house. Uh, it looks like these crews will be out here for several hours, a lot of noise. But not only that, this could have fallen onto your house, depending on which d direction the wind was going. We are hyper aware of that. Yes, yes. We're, we feel very lucky and that no cars were passing um, and that it was at the time of night where there was less traffic. And then with this kind of tree, can you point out how tall was the tree? Um, it was it was the same as it was the, the same as that tree right there. Uh, they were. Um, yeah, I have photos of what it looked like for the compliance inspector. It was the same as that eucalyptus tree, just wow. as huge and just as tall. Okay, I'm gonna guesstimate here, but that looks almost like as tall as a two-story building, extremely high there. What do you want the city to do? Obviously, the crews are gonna remove this soon. Um, they said that the root system, um, it, they said there's a huge hole that it was pulled up. They said that they we should have that tree checked too, and I wanna absolutely make sure that the tree make sure or that the city makes sure that 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 tree is also not in jeopardy um yeah i don't know how to i mean with the rains yeah i don't know well thank you so much julie and uh, we are glad that you and your family are okay and safe thank you for talking to us live uh but look at that they're going to be here for several hours that's the very latest here from pasadena gene kang back to you in the studio Okay, Gene, thank you for that. The storm has isolated residents of a remote canyon in Ventura County. The Sheriff's Department says it has airlifted some 70 people from Matillaha Canyon in recent weeks. It's uh, three miles north of Ojai in the Los Padres National Forest. There's just one road in and out. The Sheriff's Department says last Monday the canyon received more than 17 inches of rain, piles of rock and mud 40 feet high in some areas, blocking access to the road. Some residents are stranded. The Sheriff's Department says people are being urged to evacuate, but some have chosen to stay. The Department of Public Works says it could take up to three weeks to clear a single lane uh, access road and up to six months to complete the required repairs. Also in Ventura County, State Route 33 remains closed in both directions due to unsafe conditions. Caltrans says portions of the roadway eroded due to heavy rain, rock slides and flooding, leaving behind this massive sinkhole. The affected area includes Fairview Road at La Luna Avenue in Ojai to the Ozina Fire Station and Lockwood Valley Road in the Los Padres National Forest. Lots of snow in our local mountains. Uh, chains are required. Driving conditions can be hazardous. KTLA's Eric Spillman has weathered the, uh, the travel, is live for us in Big Bear. So far, no snow angel has appeared. We are uh, fingers crossed for the rest of the morning. <laughs> I'm saving it for you, Frank. <laughs> saving it for you, special, my friend. Didn't want to blow it on the early show. We saved the best for you. We are at Snow Summit this morning, and uh, what can I say? Fresh pow-pow here. Light snow falling right now. Visibility not so great at the top of the mountain, but I'm sure the conditions are fantastic. They've had a lot of new snow overnight. You see they're grooming the runs here. Uh, getting ready for a big crowd. Today is a holiday, big crowd of skiers and snowboarders. And you know, some of the work is manual. There's manual labor. This poor employee over here with the shovel, she's just pushing the snow out of the entrance uh, to this particular place here. Uh, but you have to do that to get this place ready. Hard labor with a shovel, I tell you. I'm glad that's her job and not mine. That's work, I'm telling you. 
All right, let me show you some pictures on the drive up here this morning because there was a lot of snow overnight, especially in the middle of the night. So much so that <clears throat> some of the cars on Highway 18 uh, were pretty much buried in snow. This is uh, between Snow Valley and Big Bear, Arctic Circle they call it. Some folks abandoning their cars here. They just left them there. You had snow up to the rooftops of those vehicles. They'll have to go back later to retrieve them. Weather conditions in the San Bernardino Mountains are as close to a blizzard as you'll ever see in Southern California, or at least they were. Now we're getting a little bit more rain at some of these elevations. The National Weather Service has issued a winter storm warning that will stay in effect until 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. The forecast calling for between 12 and 18 inches of new snow above 7,000 feet and 6 to 12 inches above 6,500 feet. Tonight and tomorrow, snow levels will drop all the way down to between 3,500 and 4,000 feet. So it's going to get colder. It's great news for skiers and snowboarders and for the resorts. What a year they're having. But driving to the mountains today, you must carry chains or have all-wheel drive or have snow tires. They're trying to plow the mountain roads as quickly as they can, but be prepared for delays and be prepared for crowds. On the way up here, uh, where they were requiring people to put on chains, I noticed or uh, started talking to some people who said that they woke up at 4 this morning to come here and to snowboard. Obviously, only snowboarders are as committed as that as to wake up at four in the morning uh, to get through to the resort. But Frank, now comes time for what you've been waiting for. <laughs> Since you've asked, the first snow angel of 2023 by me Hold will on. be done right here. And you know, the landing is key. The should, landing is really key. Should you we have to look at the spot. Should we uh, snow angel the lens first? I don't want to miss any, we, it, the lens is covered yeah. in raindrops. I mean, we don't want to miss you doing the snow. There we go. That's the professionalism that we expect here at KTLA. We got yeah. some of it, but okay, that's enough. All right. Yeah. It's here we go. Good enough for Let's, local uh, let TV. Let me give you this. Here he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Eric Spillman, the diving snow oh. angel. And here it is, his first snow angel of the season from the founder of the Snow Angel in the KTLA 5 Morning News, even leaving his out. chapeau in place. <laughs> Very nice. You know what? Actually, it works better when there's less snow uh. because you can see the outline a little bit better. Yeah. We'll try and do better next you know, hour, but there you go. That's a start. We, we think it's a wonderful start, yeah. and we'd like to see one every hour. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll, I'm sure, have to do that. Thanks, Wish you Sarah. were here, Frank. Then we could do dual <laughs> snow angels uh, together. But Someday. Another time. Someday. I'll that look forward to that.